everyone, it's Dom and Nolan, your movement dogs from Balance Flow. And today we'll be talking about barefoot movement, bare feet, right? So me being a female, I honestly always wore shoes and I didn't know that, that were too narrow and too small for me. And I was trying to play around with the barefoot stuff, but I don't think I gave it a good enough effort and it hurt my feet. So what's your opinion on the whole topic? So the whole thing with barefoot shoes is getting your your foot to be as na moving naturally as possible. So right. uh, a, a shoe that does not uh, restrict to the natural movement, right? Uh, and usually there, there's a, a few things. There's like three things that that I, I really look for in a barefoot shoe. Um, and these are some that I've worn. But uh, so there's not a really thick sole. Uh, so you, you can feel the floor. So not like that. <laughs> yes, not like that, right? <laughs> so you can actually feel the ground and feel your foot moving on the ground, touching the ground. Yeah. It's the feedback that we're looking for. All right, so that's one. That's, that's one uh, very uh, crucial thing. Um, the next thing is what we call heel drop or um, the difference between the heel and uh, how, how far off the ground the, the heel is compared to the ball of your foot, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you don't want a huge heel drop like the extreme would be wearing high heels, right? Sure, because sure. then it puts your foot in this pointed plantar flex position all yeah. the time and that changes everything up the leg. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then the, the last thing we look for is the width of the toe box. And you'll see a lot of people have uh, things like uh, bunions, right? Because the, yeah. the shoes are too narrow in our society and they end up pushing or bunching our toes together and bunch your toes together and, and then Just you'll like see that. a lot of ladies get bunions because they're, they're trying to jam their feet into this little pointy shoe, right? Which we yeah. think look, look good, right? Um, but what in truth that changes how your foot functions. Okay. So like last question, because I had a few patients ask me this, uh, when is a good time to start wearing those? I had a patient who was asking if he should get shoes for his kid who's starting to walk. Yeah, I, I put, I put uh, our baby in, in uh, barefoot shoes, right? Because we want them to learn how to use their arches and strengthen those muscles early in life. Um, that way they can grow up with, with strong arches. But if you don't have arches, I wouldn't jump to going to barefoot shoes yeah. and gradually break into them. And what I tell patients is like, hey, if you're gonna bench press, you're not gonna go from bench pressing zero to 300 pounds in sure. your first shot, right? So that's kind of like the comparison. You wanna start small with a little bit of work, maybe walking barefoot somewhat and, and then building up those arches, doing some exercises, some rehab work on your foot, and then gradually start to wear barefoot shoes more and more. So don't buy new shoes for a marathon. That are bare shoes. Okay, got yes, it. Right. How many people come in here that did that? <laughs> right. Well, so. yeah, but we encourage you to uh, watch some of our videos as well on just how to strengthen the arch, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so you can start somewhere. And these shoes are pretty amazing. Do you get paid for advertising those? Yeah, unfortunately not. Does anyone want to pay us for that? <laughs> <laughs> or give us some free shoes at least? <laughs> I know. But no, thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please send them our way. We're happy to answer them. Uh, but for now, just like us, follow us, subscribe to our channel, and be body wise. <laughs>